Thank you very much, Wendy, and welcome to this webinar uh, on basically the project management control room. What we're going to try to accomplish today is a few things. One, we're going to try to establish the importance of building trust through capability and visibility. Two, we're going to establish the potential value for your organization of having a project control room that monitors project conditions, not the status of tasks, but the status of the conditions that drive success. We're going to be talking about the types of metrics that should be monitored by a control room. To make this seem a little more real, we're going to show you a little bit about how Computer Aid has responded to this challenge and frankly how we benefit from taking this approach. It's very novel. Very few companies practice the things we're going to be talking about this morning. And then I'm going to suggest a very familiar framework so that you can talk to other people in your organizations, your bosses, your employees, your customers, so that they can get a handle on exactly how this works and the fact that they're already doing it in other parts of their lives. Part one is about how to build trust. The bottom line is it's not enough that people think you are telling the truth. They need to know that you know the truth. So even if you're not, quote, spinning the facts, the people you're speaking to know that you know what to talk about, what to know about, so that you can tell them what the actual conditions are, what the actual status, what the actual health is, because you know it. What is trust? Opportunities are going to go to the people that I trust. This has been said to me more and more by executives over the last few decades. My ability to trust you is based upon two things. One, my belief that you know what you're doing, and two, my ability to know that you're doing it. You've probably heard the old expression, the former U.S. President Ronald Reagan had a comment that it's, it's about trusting but verifying. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. For example, industrial operations, things that you think of are under control rooms, are successful because they've identified what conditions are going to drive output as well as problems. They have identified the critical process factors. There's systemic monitoring of those process factors. Again, we're not talking about tracking cost or quality or, or time. We're talking about monitoring the conditions that determine what the costs will be, how long it will take, and what the quality will be. The early warnings, if you would. We're going to talk a little bit about having an integrated control room so that we can see all of the performance indicators in one place so that we can get a thorough impression as to what's really going on. And the other key thing about industrial operations is we know they're staffed by trained, experienced personnel, people who know when they see something what to do about it. Now, why is this important? I'm, I'm sure everyone on this webinar is trusted completely by their customers. And you probably can't see the tongue in my cheek because we all know that that's not entirely true. This slide here indicates that really just over a third of the respondents to a survey indicated that they thought they were getting truthful information from their service providers. Uh, I don't know about you, but that makes me feel pretty bad to think that only one-third of the people we work with believe that IT managers, project managers, and program managers are actually telling the truth. They don't necessarily think they're liars, most of the time, they just suspect that they don't know what they need to know. And as a result of that, or pardon me, not so much as a result of that, but unfortunately, as an industry, IT in particular, we have not really developed a very good track record of success. As you can see here, failed projects are still almost 20%. Challenge projects are still almost half. So year after year after year, our customers have reinforced in their minds the fact that we are not necessarily going to deliver, and they don't like finding out at the last minute. So this webinar is really about 
how do we deal with early warning signs so that our customers can feel confident that either A, they're going to get what they expect, or if they're not, they know early enough to be able to talk to their customers to reset expectations. We need a control room capability that provides comprehensive, up-to-date results on critical conditions data. But we don't want to overwhelm people with masses of data. You've probably heard the expression, the paralysis of analysis. When you're overwhelmed with information and don't know where to find the key information. So it's important that we have a compelling dashboard just as there are in industrial control rooms. It's also important to know whether this is a point in time or whether this is a trend. So control rooms do have trending as a critical part of how they operate. And then obviously, once you identify something that is alerted for attention, you need the ability to drill down into the source data, the raw data, the critical data, to find out what the root causes are of the alerts you're seeing. Now, is there a reason to do this? If you look in the center of this graph, you can see this is McKinsey data, so I'm fairly comfortable with the accuracy here. There is a 2 to 3x, not 20%, not 50%, but a 200 to 300% improvement in productivity possible if you are measuring and monitoring the things that drive results. The organizations that are monitoring processes, not just waiting to find out how things ended up and then reacting, are not just a little better, they're profoundly better. And for those of you on the webinar realizing that disruptive technologies are changing everything in our organizations, one of the things that's going to be critical is the ability to dramatically improve productivity with what you're doing today before you're disintermediated by some other technology because you can be, because you're slower than the market, because you're not as accurate or as high quality as the market. So there is an actual huge benefit in getting this together. We need to do this. The number of top 100 product and service companies that are now dependent on software has doubled to nearly 40% of all industries just in the past 20 years. I don't have to tell you all on this call that revenues from digitized products and channels are expected to exceed 40%, which means that whatever we're working on today, digitalization of that is happening at a breakneck pace. Projects do not have the leisure of the rework that we've had in the past. And it will take control of capability. We have to monitor the critical conditions and we have to make sure that we keep the responsible teams in the loop as an organization and as individual project managers. There's more and more risk. There's more and more complexity, and we need to deal with that. So what should you do? IT executives all seem to agree on one thing. Project managers should improve their ability to predict the future. Now, I say it that way because it sounds crazy in a way. But ultimately, that's what the goal is for project managers who are going to be successful in the future. It's not enough to manage tasks. The project managers of the future need to know what to monitor so they can predict what's going to happen with results before the results actually happen. We measure the past now. Um, with over, as, as Wendy mentioned at the top of this, with over 30 years' experience in the industry, it really is focused on monitoring the cost, quality, and schedule issues, monitoring the tasks and the results. But unfortunately, by the time you get to the result to monitor, it's too late. The result has already happened. We're going to be focusing on how does one identify what's going to happen before it happens so we can do something about it. Right now, today, we're all over lagging indicators. They're all backward looking. We track progress. We need leading indicators that are forward-looking that enable management to make decisions before they have failures. 